Okay, so this is my fourth video on custom elements, and this one's going to be pretty short. I hope it's about how to integrate our web components or custom elements that we've created into apps based on, well, in this case, I'm going to go through React, but you can imagine React or Vue or Angular or whatever. So why would you want to do that? Well, what folks seem to want to do most is to build a design systems language in custom elements and then consume those in their framework applications. For example, you make a carousel as a custom element and we'll call it web component, whatever you want. And then you use that carousel in Vue or React, just like another type of tag, as if like the HTML5 working group just forgot, you know, to define a carousel tag like the first time around, right? Uh, that way you only implement carousel once and it works across all of your apps and has the same look and feel everywhere. You know, the shadow DOM and all that kind of cool stuff that we've been working through, right? So let's try that out. Let's try that out on our mutant product card custom element that we created. So I've created a, an app based on create react app and I'll spare you all the gory details and all that, but it is, it's running in the background. So let's go have a look at that. All right, that's over here. So what we want to do is now co copy over the custom element code that we've created over the past three videos into this public directory. All right, the next thing we need to do is script that into index.html. All right, let's go take a look. All right, no changes as of yet. I mean, we haven't really used it. So the next thing we need to do is actually use that. Cool, okay. Um, actually, let's go hack the CSS. Why, if somebody could please tell me why do these custom builder apps like create react or create review app or whatever view cli they always seem to center everything like like as if we like like anybody's actually going to ever deliver a centered page all right let's go check let's go fix that yeah get rid of this but but uh. okay that, that looks terrible but it looks like what we want okay so the next thing i'm going to do is turn that this function into a class because I want to use refs and I really don't want to deal with the whole like react hooks thing. Now I'm going to use that ref in the component did mount to do things like uh, show the buy button and then register an event handler on that so that we can go and see when the customer hits the buy button. Okay, cool. So the buy it button is showing. I'm going to click on it and it shows one. Awesome. Nice. So this is a React app, but it's using custom elements to actually do all the rendering for us. All right, now the astute observer might be asking why I had to do the ref thing. Well, that's because React doesn't currently play well-ish with custom elements, specifically around event handlers. So there are some PRs out there to do that. I don't think the React folks are against custom elements. I just don't think they were in wide use early on. So like the, the base level support for them isn't great. Um, it's actually a lot better in Vue and other frameworks. A great site to check out on framework compatibility with custom elements is custom elements everywhere. It's also a great site in general uh, on this topic, so check that out. But you can go here and look at, you know, how, what they've, they've got a set of tests that they then run to see how custom elements run on each one of these systems. And I'll be honest, it's, it's actually really good. And I don't think, honestly, even with the rough stuff, that this is necessarily prohibitive when it comes to, for example, design system language atoms like putting up a, a button that looks really good and looks the same everywhere across your site, regardless of if the app is in Vue or Angular or React. Okay, so there you go. A four-part series on custom elements. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. 
course, feel free to like and share these videos. I really sincerely hope they helped demystify custom elements for you. I, that's actually part of the reason that I did this was I looked on YouTube and there were some, yeah, there got some good videos here and there, but I really wanted one that just sort of like walked through the basics. Um, I did leave a bunch of stuff out. There's, you know, nothing on like, for example, uh, default props, um, pro properties, um, default attributes. Uh, you know, I just wanted to kind of whet your appetite for this sort of thing and show you what this, what custom elements were capable of. Uh, anyway, as I say, uh, feel free to like or comment and just let me know how you like it. All right. Bye.